Good morning guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in to yet another video. So last week we changed the oil in my 2022 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack and today we are going to be installing a little modification in here and uh, I've got it right here so I figured that we would go ahead and unbox it. This is something that uh, I ordered quite a while ago. I actually ordered it before I even took delivery of the vehicle because I knew this is something that I was gonna need to install. So we got a little bit of packaging. We got a packing slip, as you can see. This is my oil catch can, or an oil separator from Billet Technologies. Got a couple hoses. Right, just everything in the box. Let's go ahead and put all this back. Go ahead and open up this bad boy. Click the some instructions. Oh yeah. So as you see from Billet Technologies, it's an oil catch can fittings already pre-installed this is your z bracket this is your actual can that you would unscrew that's where your oil would be collected wow i like this fit and finish on it is superb so whenever you order these you can uh, customize these in a lot of different ways a lot of people like to get it kind of paint matched to their car and whatnot, but I went with black just because uh, whenever this is sitting in the engine bay, I don't want it to grab too much attention, and I want it to pretty much look OE in a way. Fittings here. Go ahead and open this up. So we got our screw. We got our fittings for the PCV line. And we've also got our spacer for whenever we install it. All right, the first thing you wanna do when installing this oil catch can is right here, at the front of the motor, there is a clip. It's a wiring harness that's clipped in to uh, this hole, and it's a threaded hole. So if you're gonna wanna use one of these parts removal tools, and you're gonna to wanna to pop this out. Comes out pretty easy just like that so then you just kind of want to move it out of the way for now now what you want to do is you want to remove this hose from the PCV line so I have just a small flathead screwdriver that you want to get in there
So mine came off with the fitting, so we definitely need that to stay on. So we're gonna leave that on. All right, I'm gonna put this back on here as well. All right. All right, now we are gonna go ahead and mount the catch can. So this is a Z bracket, so it's gonna sit right in here. So what we need to do, we need to grab our bolt and the spacer. Now the spacer is gonna sit on this side. So it might be a little tricky. I'm gonna put our bolt through with the spacer. And we're gonna start hand threading it. Ooh, that would have been bad. That would have been real bad. So just use your fingers and start to kind of hand tighten it a little bit. All right, now you're gonna get a socket. This is a, this is a half inch socket. And now we will start to tighten it. There we go. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these fittings. We're just gonna shove them in here. Oh, make sure it's all the way in. Do the same thing on this side. Now we got our hoses, so. The longer hose is going to go from here to here, just like that. Your shorter hose can go from here to here. Now, obviously, we're going to need to do some cutting. So, this has writing on it. I'm going to make sure that's at the bottom. So, I'm going to put this here and kind of measure it out, right? I don't want it to be too angled. I don't want it to be stretched either. I want it to be nice and relaxed. So, I'm going to cut it, eh, cut it about right here. So, I have these ratcheting hose cutters. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Go for about right here. Caps. 
because we're gonna need two of them right off the bat for this hose and then we'll need the other two for the other hose all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these end caps and just slide it on just like that do the same thing to both sides now you insert it all the way do the same thing here there we go that is not going anywhere that's just too small now we're gonna do the same thing for this one so same thing here, cut it about right here. Oh, shoot. All right. Nice clean cut. Go ahead and put our Put our end caps on. Alright, just slide it on all the way. And do the same thing for this one. Alright, there we go. Now, the only thing left to do is double check your work. This harness down here. Um, I mean, you can just leave it where it's at. I'm gonna put a zip tie on it just to uh, hold it in place against that Z bracket, just so that way I know it's secure and not moving around. But as far as the install goes, we are finished. All right, now let's give her a quick startup just to uh, make sure that there are no codes and make sure we have everything properly assembled. Alrighty guys, so that is a wrap on the install. Super quick, super easy. Don't be intimidated by this kind of stuff. I know it might seem a little uh, intimidating kind of getting in there and digging into the motor and doing some stuff like this, but super quick, super easy, I promise you. Uh, with me filming, it took maybe all of about 20 minutes. Um, if you were just doing this outside or in your garage, it could take you no longer than five, 10 minutes. So now if you're wondering why we installed the oil catch can on the scat pack, um, I did a lot of research into this modification. I know a lot of people with the Hemi install these and um, I've never been a follower to where I'll just install something because a lot of other people do it. I wanted to do my own research, figure out why are people installing these? What benefit does it add to the motor? And um, so what I've concluded is that the Hemis are notorious for oil bypass getting back into the uh, manifold and uh, it causes a lot of buildup. And uh, these oil catch cans will prevent that. Um, some people have said that it's kind of uh, kind of a mute point on at least like the RTs and the scat packs because it's not boosted. These engines are naturally aspirated. Um, people claim that you're really only going to see a benefit if you are running boost like with a supercharger. I can't really say whether or not that's the case. I know a lot of people like with the RTs and the scat packs they run these and um, about every three to five thousand miles their catch cans do collect quite a bit of oil that would have been returned back into the manifold. So in my mind, there is some benefit to it. People have claimed that installing these will cause uh, oil pressure loss and uh, basically will do the opposite of what it's intended for and will ruin the motor. Now, while on the forums and online, there's a bunch of claims of that, 
I personally haven't seen any proof of that. It just seems a lot of hearsay, people's just saying, oh, don't install this, this will happen. But me personally, I haven't seen any proof. So there's a ton of people online that run these. Um, it seems to be a 50-50 split. Some people swear up and down that they are amazing. Other people swear up and down that they are useless and pointless, but regardless, there's still a lot of people that run these. So if there were any major issues that came up, I'm sure that uh, a lot more people would know about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know with a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe for new videos every single week. If you guys want to purchase this part, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. Just know that these are custom made components. So there is quite a bit of a lead time on there. I think it all depends on what all you have done to it. If you get like me, I just got a regular uh, satin black. So mine typically didn't take that long, but I know you can get like paint match to your vehicle. There's a bunch of custom stuff you could do, so you could experience longer lead times. So just be aware of that if you do buy it. If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm posting a lot of really cool content on Instagram, so be sure to follow me there. And until my next video, take care and be safe. Peace.